What's the best piece of advice you've ever received from another woman and how has it shaped your journey? So I'll tell you about one very simple piece of advice but something that has I would say imbibed in me is something that I learned from my mother is to be more considerate and more generous towards people who are less fortunate irrespective of where they come from or what situation they are in one primary advice that I received uh, from my mother was that you do not take advice from everybody and anybody take advice from the people who are either uh, there where you want to be in the future, who've achieved what you want to achieve, or either you take advice from the people uh, who you know that you know they genuinely think well for you. My mother once told me, never take yourself granted. You should always try and keep yourself as a priority. Yes, family is there. Sometimes the women ought to feel ki like, no, we should prioritize our family first. But coming from my mother, it's really a great piece of advice that no matter what, it's you who matter the most. I have a brown complexion um, but when I was little I got a little insecure about it since my friends used to make fun of me too so one day I got back home from my school and started crying in front of my mother that um, they are making fun of me and I think I'm ugly that day she told me that donkeys are white and horses are different in shades so now you decide who is beautiful and who is <laughs> ugly so the best advice that I have received was to prioritize self-care and uh, never apologize for taking time for yourself because this is a very important thing. The best piece of advice I ever got is from a poem. So it's from my favorite author, Nikita Gill. So in her poem, she says that you have to question the fairy tales because they're not as good as they are supposed to be. What I learned from this poem is that uh, you don't have to believe in the superficial beauty because you can be a lot more than that. The best piece of advice I received was from my mother. You know, she always empowers me. She always tells me to not get scared of the people around and the environment. Just, you know, uh, be yourself, be your best. And uh, whatever life throws at you, just move on. My really best advice is from my mom. कि कैसे खुद को सेल्फ डिपेंड कर सकते हैं कैसे अपने हर एक चीज को स्मूथली चला सकते हैं लाइफ में बस वो मेरे लिए सबसे बेस्ट पार्ट है मेरी लाइफ में हाय जब मैं मम्मी से खाबी होती थी वधिया काम करना ये आप द वधिया रहना फैमिली चैनल करके भी जितने भी काम कर करना आप द वधिया करना अच्छे करना कि किसी ना लड़ाई झगड़ा नहीं करना यू शेयर अ फनी स्टोरी अबाउट द टाइम व्हेन यू वर अंडर एस्टिमेटेड बट यू प्रूव्ड एवरीवन रॉन्ग ओके so I've always been very reserved and introspective while others were out socializing i found solace in my own place whether it was my own room and exploring my own thoughts although my family believed in me but i could sense the doubts lingering in the air around me as i stepped into the working world those doubts grew even louder people assumed that i would remain stuck in the introverted ways incapable of uh thriving in the professional world even i began to question myself sometimes if they were right if maybe i was meant to stay in the confines of my own mind but there was a spark within me a determination to prove everybody else wrong slowly but surely i began to find my own voice i forced myself to step out of the comfort zone engaging and interacting with other people seizing every opportunity to learn and grow here i am now Today I am a proof that being quite reserved and studious doesn't mean that you can't succeed. You just need to believe in yourself, keep chasing your dreams just like I did. I was pursuing BCom honors, but then I decided to change my field and came into animation and multimedia. So I did my masters that is MSc in animation and multimedia. So at first I wasn't that welcomed in my college like um, my classmates were of the same field. so it was a bit ki uh, you have to change your field so you won't be able to perform that much and considering it's 3d it's a bit more difficult stereotypically ki 3d you won't be able to perform but i'm glad i proved them wrong i won a gold medal actually i earned a gold medal in my in my msc animation and multimedia that's something i'm proud of actually Back in school days, uh, I was on the ball badminton team. We used to play like we were a team of five, 
and you know i used to be like really tiny and you know i, I used to look like a really fragile looking girl so the opponent when we were playing the opponents were continuously saying that i used to play on the back position that give the ball to the back give the ball to the back she doesn't look like someone you know who would be able to play and then they did and then how they regretted it and you know then the coach was screaming keep give it anywhere you want to just don't give the ball to the right back that's playing so yeah one was that 12th me thi main mere papa ne kaha ki first division to isse hoga nahi to rehne do padhai band kar dete maine kaha nahi main padungi aur main first division leke aaungi to unhone kaha theek hai maine kaha agar main leke aati hu to aap mujhe kya doge तो लगा तू ही बोल दे क्या चाहिए मैंने कहा मुझे नया साइकिल चाहिए तो पापा ने कहा ठीक है मैं लाके दूंगा फर्स्ट डिवीज़न आई तो मुझे पता ही नहीं होगा तुझसे तो मैंने पढ़ाई की कंप्लीट की और मैंने फर्स्ट डिवीज़न लेके आई उस साल और पापा शौक हो गए अपने सारे फ्रेंड्स को भी बताते थे कि आज मेरी बेटी ने तो चैलेंज पूरा कर लिया और फर्स्ट डिवीज़न लेके आई बैक दिन आई वॉज इन माई स्कूल आई वॉज लर्निंग मार्शल आर्ट्स and there was this boy in my class uh, who told me that i cannot fight with you because you are a girl so i was like okay now it was a it was a very important thing for me to defeat him <laughs> so what i did was i told him that uh, it's fine um, i'm just a beginner and i just wanted to learn some new moves why don't you try it with me it it would be helpful for me so he agreed and um, and it turned out to be a match and i defeated him so that was a great experience it made well and it was time to decide what i want to pursue as my career same my parents wanted to do wanted me to get a stable job but uh, i wanted to wanted to do designing so my mom wrote on a piece of paper that i'll not be able to do designing and you'll not be you know get get even good grades in that design test and she signed in there and told me to prove her wrong and that day i decided that no i'll prove her wrong and that tail got into my ego and after 3 months i scored a scholarship in my design exams and i've never paid a single fee for my design degree